Welcome to this developer tutorial for Core Animator. In this quick tutorial, I'll present an example of using an animated view from Core Animator as a nice looking splash screen. I'll run the app and then show you the code that was used to accomplish it. So here we have this nice animated logo and when it's done, it transitions to the title screen. And that's it. <laughs> the title screen also has some nice animations and it was also created using Core Animator, but we won't be covering the title screen in this tutorial. Let's take a quick look at the Core Animator project. So here's the project our designer used to produce the animations, and it's super straightforward, uh, with a single animation that he chose to call Intro. If we preview it, you can see it's just a three and a half second animation that's showing our logo. Uh, the intention is that when the animation completes, that's when the transition to the title screen is accomplished. Now, the coding part to accomplish the splash screen is so short that I'll start by just showing you the, the completed code. So here in the main storyboard, we've created a splash view controller, and we've set its view to be of class splash view. So Splash View was generated by Core Animator from the project our designer gave us. Note over here that we've, we've set its content mode to be Aspect Fill. This will keep the desired aspect ratio for the splash screen even when the view itself changes frame based on the device that we're currently running on. Alright, that's it for the storyboard. Just changing the class of the of this splash view controller's view. Now for splash view controller. Now as you can see the code here is super short. It's literally just a matter of kicking off that intro animation which we do here with the call to add intro animation. We provide a completion block which allows us to display the title screen when we're finished. And with those three lines of code, uh, we were able to include a nice animated splash screen that our designer created in Core Animator. And that's it. Hopefully that gives you some, just some good ideas as to things you can put into your app. And we can't wait to see what you create. Thanks so much.